back. Hey, it's Thursday. I like Maybe. how you're coming up with different ways I, I'm, to it's a fail stamp. It really is. To I'm say like, hey. I'm, well, now it's come down to different ways to say hey. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because uh, I don't think about it all week, but during the music, I'm like, I should say something different. <laughs> it comes out. No. Hey. No, same shit in a different way. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, whatever, and it's, it's not cool. Thursday, it's Tuesday. Everybody knows we record on Tuesday. We're not a live show, Paul. <laughs> live. Coming at you live. We don't edit. I think we could pull this shit off. We could. I, I don't mean, know. I, I do have the capabilities of editing. I don't. We, we could do this on uh, that Facebook live. No, no the video yeah. quality is shitty. Is and we, we are pretty ugly. We don't want to make ourselves yeah. look pixely ugly. No. It's not a good look. It's not. I mean, we could make people feel better about themselves in case they didn't already. <laughs> I think people already feel better in this show just by listening to us. Oh, uh, true. It's like, hey, wow. I, I can speak better than that. If I wanted to do a podcast, I'd do better. Hey, yes, I can would. read. <laughs> <laughs> no, you want to know what? You tried to do a podcast. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, enjoy that. Good luck. It's super fun trying to read. Yeah, it's it's super fun trying to read an email that's, you know. Bad grammar, misspelled it's, words, it's, it's, Croiler looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he dumbs it down for you and you still <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> but that's okay. He's like, I got to write it at sixth grade level. Okay, now it's fourth grade. Come on. Fuck, I keep going backwards. Yeah. I'm going to have to, he's just going to have pictures pretty yeah. soon. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Here's Stick figures. Pictures. Looks like cave paintings. <laughs> <laughs> Some feet print on there. Right. I get this. It just it it makes just, way more sense. It's just going to be like tons of emojis. <laughs> tons of emojis. <laughs> got so, it. Uh <laughs> Unicorn emoji. Totally get that. Yeah, oh, that's my jam. Unicorn emoji. <laughs> oh. The rainbow butt of his butt. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Makes sense. That's my Apply shit, Apply to jujitsu. <laughs> oh, man. So what today... Do you got, what, wait, wait. What do you got going on today? All right. So today, just so uh, they don't get lost in the, our, our bullshit minutiae that we... Oh, yeah. We, so we, they have an expectation for right, what yeah. might get talked yeah. about? The expectation in uh, this episode is... <laughs> The value and meaning of stripes, part do. Part D. 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 That means two for all you <laughs> <Right. lines. laughs> Does he say layman in this one like 17 times to make people feel like shit again? He does. He Man, does. he's good at that. Do you not read his emails before they come no. through? You just like wing it. I wing the shit out of it. It does make it more fun when you're surprised by all the uh, path <laughs> well, and journey. The only problem is it, it's hard for me to shut the hell up when you read it. I'm like, that's bullshit. Yeah, this is, what the fuck is he <laughs> what doing? The fuck off, asshole. Jeez, I don't agree with that at all. <laughs> Dick. Yeah, I like it. But this is uh, going on stripe three and four of the white belt. You going to let me eat my snack and not call me out? No. It's oh, gonna... somebody. Uh... Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> Who was that? I forget. I don't know. It's one of the he's listeners. Like, he's like, uh, God damn it. What was it? What would he say? Basically, he said, man, it's it's great that, oh, wait, there's a mic in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> when I noticed that you're eating <laughs> during the podcast. Yeah. Mm. At least he thought it was funny. Everybody else is probably like, what the fuck? Well, the doing? fucking problem was I would have, I had it perfectly. I knew you were onto a Paul tirade and instead oh. you stop and you go, why are you fucking eating? <laughs> No, I know. I wanted your thought on that. And you're like, I have a, literally a mouthful of food, you son of a bitch. And I'm like, yeah, that's that's why I stopped. Yeah, you're an asshole. What's that disease where you can't stand the sound of other people chewing? There's like a thing. My wife has it. Oh, yeah. I have a little bit. Like, I don't like it, especially when they're like, they like chomp. You know what I mean? Like, they smack their jaws and stuff together. Yeah, they open their mouth while oh, they're chewing. Oh, God. I can't handle it. Yeah, like that. It's yeah, no I just want to punch people it's in the no face. It's no good. So, um... We have a cool email, unless you wanted to get something uh, out of the way first. I don't have anything. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Top, top Mount Apparel. <laughs> They're pretty cool. We'll just say random shit about <laughs> yeah. them. It's like, no good advertisements because we didn't do our read because oh, we're kind of busy. I, I have a side tangent that will go along with the sponsor. Tap tape or top, top mount? Tap tape. Okay. This is this is fantastic. It's like another use for tap tape. You mean Roly Poly? Roly Poly. That's now his name. My man. <laughs> My man, Roly Poly. So... I'm at work, and uh, nobody cares about this, but it, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's relevant to the story, so bear with me. So I'm a machinist, and we have what's called bar stock, long, skinny tubes of stock that we make little metal parts out of. Okay. And in order for them to slide through the machine, they have to have a chamfer on it or like a little angle cut, otherwise it gets hung up. So typically, it's already on the bars. When I get them, I load them in the machine. The machine loads it for me. Everything is slick like butter. It's great. I hope I explained that well enough. Yeah. Anyway. Probably not. 
So these I'm ones, lost. these ones got ground down lower, so the chamfer was gone. So I grabbed this little chamfer tool. It's a very, very. Can sharp. you say angle cut and rather than chamfer? Well, it's an angle cut, but the this tool goes on the end of a drill bit and puts the chamfer on the outside of the bar stock, right? So the angle cuts on the outside of the bar stock. Exactly. Why didn't you just fucking say that? Um, you really want to say chamfer for all those. <laughs> I, it's a chamfer. <laughs> so, <laughs> he just can't help himself. But it's a chamfer, but Kip. It's a chamfer. It's an angle cut on the outside of a round tube. Anyway, there you go. Got gotcha. It. Check. <clears throat> wow. Fun. So I got to do it manually. And I've never done it manually before because I haven't had to up to this point. So I'm, <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm going across the shop trying to get a chamfer tool and a, and a little DeWalt drill. So I put it in there. I go on and I get my gloves on and, and all the. All the bars are super. Are oh, you talking about what you did to your thumb, like a moron? Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> all the uh, all the all the bars are super oily, and I got uh, I got these little latex gloves on. I hold the glove, and I'm I'm grabbing onto it. In my uh, in my in my <laughs> haste to put a chamfer on it, I run the chamfering tool in, and it the bar just slips out of my hand, and I chamfered the end of my thumb. <laughs> My, 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 I love my, how you send me a text, by the way, that said chamfer on I'm like, I don't know what the fuck that means. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, thought, I was like, I don't know what the fuck a chamfer like, is. I've, I've been dealing with chamfer since I was like 12. Yeah. So <laughs> well, for me, it's like, yeah. who doesn't know what the fuck a chamfer is? Yeah, see. I've been chamfering things for my dad since I was a baby. So if I said LTV to you, would you know what that is? Loan to value ratio. Yep. Yeah. See, yeah. would most people know that, though? I would hope so. It's common knowledge. Come on, people. DTI? DTI, yeah. debt to income ratio. Yeah, that's just because Damn. I taught you that earlier today. No, I knew that. I know oh, this bullshit, stuff. dude! You I have rental properties shit. for Christ's sake. <laughs> you have <laughs> rental property. I'll, I've sold three of them. You have rental property. Well, clearly, I give you nothing. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Anyways, go on, go on with A- your chamfer in your own ARV. Game. What's ARV? Average. <laughs> after repair, repair. Jesus, I can't even say it. after repair. I'm trying to sound cool. Yeah, I was trying to say you really killed value, this. After repair value, nobody cares about this anyway. So, so <laughs> I basically, don't. I basically have a jigsaw looking thumb right now because I chamfered <laughs> the end of it. Still great text message. Did you like how he's moved on? Like, so, so you hurt your thumb? Yeah. <laughs> Did you hit it with a hammer? No, I hit it with a damn chamfer. It. You fucking idiot. <laughs> That's a chamfer, Christ. <laughs> So it, my uh, my thumb is being held on by uh, tap tape right now. Well played. It works really good. Well, Way better than a band aid, dude. It's uh, I've I've proven this many times. Well, cut my thumb. Cut my uh, f- foot open on the mat. Oh, tap tape. Well, now it's verified by me. Yeah. Well played. Yes. Yes. Well uh, played. Co- co-signed by your co-host. <laughs> tap tape. <laughs> Yay. Hold your skin together or thumb. Dumbass. God, it, it was actually so bad. It it's. I had that, you know, that passy out feeling. Oh, passy out. Yeah. Where I got, I, I got, I got what? hot. I got really cold and started to sweat. I'm like, oh shit, <laughs> this is not going to end well. And, and I couldn't not look at it because I had to. Fix oh yeah, it. you got to look at it. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Don't do that again. Yeah, it was fun. Kind of like I, I got my hands cupped and blood is just pooling oh, yeah. in my nice. hand on the way to the uh, <laughs> yeah, med Yay. station. Yeah, it was fun. Like, what you do? Nothing. Nothing. It's embarrassing, and I want to talk about nothing. It. I chamfered something. Oh, <laughs> just happened to be a body yeah. part. <laughs> Apparently, I needed it on my nose too. Another yeah. another fun tangent of how I hurt myself <laughs> in the Wait, same week. Is that the mark on your nose? <laughs> yeah, did, you didn't notice, did you? <laughs> I didn't. Now you did. It is wicked. Make your nose look more crooked. Oh, dude. So uh, it worked. I wasn't going to mention it to anybody, but I actually show coded. Uh, or I told Nick I would talk about it on the podcast because he called me out. So Nick, the guy that occasionally emails in the show, he goes, "Dude, what happened to your nose?" <laughs> and I said, "Fuck." All right, I'll tell you. So I was working in the garage, and I went to step to grab something, and I stepped on the end of a broom that I didn't see, <laughs> and the broom You smashed. pulled the Wiley Coyote. He goes, just like the cartoon. I said, yeah, just like the cartoon. He's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm like, it's, I don't know. I, I, I don't have a good answer. But yeah, I Wiley Coyote my face. <laughs> you the broom. moron. Dude, the funny thing, I was so pissed. Oh, yeah. I was so pissed. Oh, yeah, you should be. Yeah. That's fucking embarrassing. So I look around, I want to rage out and smash something, but I'm in my own house. I'm like, I'm just going to... Oh, look, shit, that was cost me money. <laughs> right, it ruin my own nose and my stuff. I'll just stop now. Yeah, I'm whatever. surprised you didn't come over to my garage and start wrecking shit. Oh, <laughs> is that an option? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Perfect. I'll be there next time I wildly county my face. So what's all that noise? I'm assuming Paul hurt his face again. <laughs> right, with this racket. Don't go check. <laughs> I did that on a job site once. I was a plumber. Yes. And I couldn't get something to solder. Did I ever tell you this story? No. That's funny. 
So th- this is this is my temper tantrum. Moment. All good stories start with it's funny. <laughs> so, so this is also kind of I realize where my uh, my eldest daughter gets it when she has her little rage monster moments. I'm like, yeah, that's that's me. <laughs> that that is me. Mm-hmm. So I'm trying to solder together some pipe. And uh, what we do is after we get everything soldered, we hook it up to an air hose. We squirt uh, some soap and water on it to see if it leaks. Air bubbles. Yeah. So you see air bubbles. You didn't do it right. So I solder it together. I squirt some some stuff on it. Air bubbles. Shit. So I, I resolder it again with air bubbles. Dude, I did this like five or six times in a row, and I couldn't fucking get it to not air bubble. And I didn't know what was going on. And then I, I lost my shit. I completely <laughs> and utterly Lost in my goddamn mind. <laughs> a little temper tantrum for so, Polly. So luck, luckily, I was in a like a little room that was going to be a, a lab all by myself. And I had this rickety-ass um, ladder from Godwin Plumbing and all my tools. And I smashed the ladder up against the wall, threw my hard hat against the wall, threw my tools down, started kicking shit. I'm like, motherfucking son. You know, I just started swearing at nobody. <laughs> Complete adult I mean, temper I, tantrum. I, I used every bad word that I knew at the time. And then I realized... I still have to fix this shit, and now my tools and my are all <laughs> broken and all over the place. Idiot. I accomplished worse than nothing. And you it, went backwards. Yeah, well it, played. Yeah, it, Good it, job. Yeah, it turns out it was a uh, bad from the factory warped one, so I just had to put a new new valve up there. It was fine. What an asshole. I know. Super asshole. Dude, I was 18. Oh, <laughs> what are you going to do? Stupid, dude. <laughs> I, say, age who's, roll, who's stupid. Not? <laughs> I yelled at everything. Yeah. Things went well. I got pissed. Don't know why. So yeah, I think it's funny when I when I had those dad moments. Like, hey, quit throwing a temper tantrum. What's wrong with you? I'm like, Jesus, I did that. Hell, I still do that. <laughs> hell, hell, shit, I did that last yeah. week. Yeah, cut in front of me once. I'll do the same shit. Eh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Get me behind the wheel of yeah. oh anything. Oh, oh, grind your elbows into my thighs, and I will throw the biggest tantrum ever. After Dude, I poke my, you in the eye. I must. I can't remember. It was so long ago. Thanks for bringing this up. It was funny to me. Um, Digging, do, whoever it was was digging so hard. They were they were newer, of and course. they must. I must just have the worst fucking pissed off face ever because they went from a have fun rule uh, to stopping dead and going, Ooh, "What's going on?" <laughs> like, what? Well, we're fine. He's like, yeah. "You're pissed." Yeah. Yes. 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 yes did, I am. Did you just grind your elbows into my yeah, fucking and that's how thigh? It goes to, that's, that's not what you fucking do. Do you, do you think that's acceptable behavior? It is not. It is not. Yeah, learn how to fucking pass. Yes. Christ. Fuck. Oh, I'm so man. mad. I, 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 I'm like pissed all <laughs> I'm gonna, of a sudden. <laughs> I'm going to have a tangent right now. Right I'm just now. thinking about it. You son of a bitch. Do you remember what you started this tangent off of? Uh, on? Don't. It was tap tape. Tap tape. Talking, yeah. I just want to talk about tap tape. You and, did, really. I love tap tape. Yeah. And then I went on to all my stupid things I've done my whole life, as I do. <laughs> yes. Eh, well. Well, you haven't had a good poly story in a while. No, it's been a minute. All right, let's get back to it. Okay. Hey, we got an email. Who's excited? I'm excited. Go ahead and raise your head, Paul. Raise <laughs> your hand. Yeah, I I have no words. Another good lead-in, too. Another good lead-in. I, I like First it. sentence, oh. quite good. Yeah, so... Uh, Hell, it's just what he calls us. <laughs> I would like to read it. Do you really want... I would like to read it. It's, it's actually, long, though. It's actually pretty long. That son of a bitch. That's really good. It is funny. I laughed a few times. Can I Can I start reading it? You can start you reading can, it, then can, I'll make fun can, of it later. You can, you can cut me off. Yeah, okay. well, it's pretty long. I mean, way to be long-winded on an I just, email. I just want to show just that. Just kidding, uh, it was a great email. <laughs> I, I just want to show that he writes better than Croyler does. Oh, yeah, go yeah, ahead. Better punctuation, grammar, and he's much structure. More, and he's much more upfront about um, making fun of us. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. well appreciated. <laughs> Croyler's all trying to be ninja about it. Okay. We have, uh, we have a little section on uh, grapplingdads.com, so complaint to zero. Words, Kip and Paul, you two are asshats. With that out of the way, <laughs> yes. With that out of the way, I love the show. You guys have definitely found your groove and has brought me more than a few giggles while I toil away in my cubicle hell. Thank you. A little about me. I'm a 44 year old fresh blue belt. I started at 41. I train at Gulf Coast Jiu Jitsu under. Ooh, black. Gulf Coast Jiu Jitsu. We got to call it on a gym. Oh, uh, no. about time. This is your first one. Your first call out that you it finally is. got. I finally got one. You should, be, heads. you should be proud. I should. I'm not, but I should. <laughs> Thanks, homie. Gulf Coast Jiu-Jitsu under black belt, Corey Richardson. Our lineage, Corey Richardson, Eric Silver, Hicks and Gracie. I wanted to say Rickson so bad. Rickson. Rickson Gracie. <laughs> I'm is, a dumb Who's this Rickson, dude? What kind of name is that? My two kids started at the same time. 
My daughter Caitlin started at age 10, and now at age 13, is a badass little orange belt with a mean streak. I like it. Sounds dangerous. I like it. She's the most technical by far of the three of us. Mm, my how are those rose-colored glasses, sir? <laughs> <laughs> my son Seth was seven when he started and just got his yellow belt at the ripe old age of 10. He's slowly starting to get it. They aren't infected with the JJ virus like their dad is, but they show up, train hard, and have a lot of fun. That's By the way, that's all you can hope for for your kids. Exactly. With that, I take a very hands-off approach with them. The fear of burnout as the result of an overbearing dad is my biggest fear. Well, quick FYI, um, there, there is a happy medium. It seems that on the show there are no happy mediums. It's always, um, either I'm overbearing as fuck or I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. There's a happy medium. So interesting he says that because my daughter came up to me the other day and says, I don't know if I want to do jiu-jitsu anymore. I just want to learn from dad at home. Which one said that? Caden. Why? I don't know. I'm not sure if she's, I don't get, I have no idea. She might need a little break. Maybe. Mm-hmm. I mean, we all get burned out on something, and not everybody, to his point, likes it the same. Like, you either have the jiu-jitsu bug, or you like jiu-jitsu. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's levels yeah, yeah, of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, there is. But, man, that's a tough one. I know. Yeah, good. I don't know. So, I, you know, f- for me, I don't want to burn them out, but I also think it's very important. Yes, that's that's our stance in the family, is, yep. is you're going to keep doing it, even if it's sporadically. Yeah. It's going to happen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, my, yeah, my thing is I, I want you to go twice a week, and I realize that's a big commitment, and I realize, you know, it, for kids, maybe it can be repetitive. Hell, I don't know. You know what I mean? Because they're always, the kids' class is big, so they always get new kids, and you have to show the new kids the basic stuff, and you have to get It's the, the same thing stuff. we talked about being in the beginner class. Exactly. Not always. Yeah. You get to the point where, like, Man, this is stuff that I've done a ton. Not enough, but still, it feels that way. So, yeah, as a kid, that'd be even worse. Yeah. Like, I can't do anything fun. Well, that's part of it, yeah. is, I, is learning. I'm wondering if a little helping bit. Helping others to learn. A little bit might. I don't think she, she wouldn't admit it. And I I tried to, like, are you losing? Like, are you getting, I you feel like you're getting beat up and you don't like that feeling of being on the bottom. And she she said no. But I'm not sure if maybe that has something to do with it. It's so hard, though, to have those conversations because you you end up leading the conversation. You're like, shit, are they disagreeing with what I just asked them or? Oh, I know. I fucking hate it. Well, having any conversation with a kid is kind of, you got to lead them and, but yeah. Oh, see, I don't lead mine for shit. mm -hmm. You better find water or you're dying. Yeah, fair (laughs) enough. Well, I don't like the, oh, they just kind of like shrug their shoulders. Oh, oh see, my kids, are, I've, I think I've bred that out of them because if you try pulling that shit, me and my wife go off. Nice. Not like freak out, but I'm just going to be like, nope, yeah. that's not an answer. Well, if that's not another exactly. answer, nope, that's not an answer either. Keep trying. Nice. <laughs> Would you like to go to your room and come back with a better answer? <laughs> I like it. Have to, have we may be that. assholes. No, no, I like that. Let me know. Grab yeah. dads. <laughs> <laughs> Horribledad.com, uh, whatever. Horrible dad. <laughs> we need more answers. All right, read. Um, I'm lost. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, Overbearing Uh, dad is my biggest fear. I want them to find their love for the art on their own. And I'll admit, it can be difficult at times resisting the urge to push. As for my wishes for what I want them to get out of jujitsu, I haven't verbalized this with them. Don't want to put any ideas in their heads. It's to stick with it long enough to get their blue belts by age 16 and be able to protect themselves in most situations and have the confidence to truly enjoy all that life has to offer. Uh, That's a rule in our house, by the yeah, way? Yeah, I It's blue agree. belt before driver's license. Nice. I like it. And uh, it doesn't take that much work because they have so much time to put into it. Yeah. So the the, the commitment, I think, is commitment to, to pay off for them. It's pretty easy. Pretty damn like, easy. You just don't quit, right? Hell, and I'll even buy him a Matchbox car. Not a real car. No, no, Jesus. like a RC car. God, it's, it's oh, like, that's even a little much. <laughs> <laughs> like a used one. They could still hurt themselves. Facebook Marketplace, we'd be fine. <laughs> nice. I secretly want them to be a badass black belt by 825, but that's a selfish wish, obviously. Two awesome training partners, we'll see. Back to the school. It's very much a school that embodies Hickson's approach, with primary emphasis on self-defense followed by a keep-it-playful rolling mantra. I like to think we are the best school on the coast when it comes to the basics. Nothing flat, flashy, just efficient and heavy. You wanted to say something, Kip, didn't you? Uh, so you've been to a lot of schools there, buddy? <laughs> just checking. Just checking. <laughs> Coming from a dude that's been like two. <laughs> And both of them are the same person. I was a jiu-jitsu hobo. It's, uh, yeah, you've been all around. Yeah, yeah, so. It doesn't matter. But no, it's, the rest of his email is awesome. He makes fun of us a lot. He pulls out Journey, which is, uh, you know, you can expect if I ever you know see you to 
punch I, you in the throat. Like Such is my path. Uh, I think he used pass too, like a fucking journey. asshole. And then he like drew attention to it with like little fucking figures or some shit. Oh, yeah. I'm like, you He's ass wife. Beautiful. <laughs> He's beautiful. Yeah. And the, my favorite part about the email, you like how I read these emails, but I don't read the one that Scarlet <laughs> sends every week. Damn, this is a long email. It, it yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it's, exactly. He, <laughs> it's, it's, it's great, and I love it. Send it again. You ever want to have a longer email? You just send it on a, on a week that we have croiler that just dragged on on this topic so on the one that's coming out Hold on. i know he wanted the email read on the show because the last uh the last words <laughs> you got to it before i did p.s although my wife doesn't train none of it would be possible if not for her support had to throw that in there cheers but way to leave her fucking name out douche like her first name can't cut shout out to your wife yeah well she'll get it He'll make her listen to this episode, and he's going to be pissed because they wrote they wrote a wrote a, Jesus Christ, they wrote a read. beautiful email. They, and we they read, read it like read. shit, and we read we didn't even read it like shit. We read like a quarter of it. And we're like, you want to know what? You've got the gist. <laughs> Let's move on. Yeah, he talks about like eating low carb and stuff, and that's just yeah, not going to happen. No, like it, uh, good luck with that. Uh, he said something about yoga. What's yoga? No junk food. Jesus. I know Yogi Bear. What the fuck's yeah. yoga? Talking about inflammation because of junk food. And like, no. Nah, dude, gonna, dude, dude. Uh, you know how good candy tastes, bro? Back off making all this sense. It's yeah, fucking annoying. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, all your pro tips. Uh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. One more non-pro tip. See? Better than Croiler. <laughs> <laughs> no. Pretty sure you already tried ripping off pro tip, too. <laughs> no, no, no. Non-pro tip diet. And then one more non-pro tip. Oh, yeah. Muscle yep, yep, yep. Yeah, see? Bam. Yep, yep, yep. Bam. He understands. He gets it. <laughs> He's good peeps. We still fucked up your cup pod. Jesus Christ. Fuck, dude. You can't even say letter. words. <laughs> no. Email? Email? It's not a letter. Do we get it in the mailbox? It's not a letter. No. Fuck it. It's a letter. It's a fucking dude. email. Actually, it's on our complaint form. <laughs> he did say. He did say. Just wanted to say, as a fellow grappler dad, an old juice bag. I, I do like that. That was awesome. When he pulled out juice sweet. bag, uh, Sydney was quite proud of that. Nice. Because I go, nice. what does this say, babe? She goes, juice bag. She goes, did one of your listeners say juice bag? I'm like, yes. Yes, yes they yes, did. It was did. wonderful. But uh, I, you want to know what? Thank you for the email. Love the email. Um, and shout out to your wife yeah, for being supportive because... Thank you for letting him train. Yes. And letting your kids get into it because it's great for them. And letting him lift, listen to this awful, awful show. And let's see. So who did we call out to get a free shirt and they never said anything? Ben. Whatever. What, Georgia? Was he in Georgia? I don't recall. Yeah. Georgia, I think. Um. All right, no, it's not. And then uh, Emil, he never said shit. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> he, like, liked some shit on our Facebook, too, and still didn't say anything. Um, bro, offered you free shit worldwide. Nothing. Hmm. And now we have another one. Great email. And just because we fucked it up this poorly. And then some. And then some. Let me know your address. We'll send you a shirt. You don't get to pick the shirt, nor the size, but you have to wear it. Because it's free. Nice. I like it. <laughs> and you have to post a picture of you in it. I, I like Given we have no we have no enforcement of these rules, um, no, it's a verbal I mean, contract with these people. I mean, what are you going to do? He's a blue belt. Yeah, he's, so. yeah, he's a blue belt. He's, yeah. He should know what he's doing. Yeah. None so. of us are better than him. No one. Mm. I am. <laughs> <laughs> so if you send information to receive a shirt, you will receive a shirt. He actually got the uh, shirt. He actually had some meniscus removed in a brand new ACL out of some from a dead, dead guy. guy. <laughs> I'm proud of that. Well, well played. done. Well, well done, played. sir. Well played, sir. Golf cart. Yeah, I like that. That was good. It was a good email. It was a great email. It really was. Thank you. We love it. Uh, well, Paul really loves it. I do believe he sent me like a crying emoji when I sent it to him. I said, I have no words. I'm so happy. <laughs> you were you were speechless. Was oh, my God. Oh, my God. Someone lose me. <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. Worth it. They don't. He just wanted to say, hey, wife. <laughs> Love you. Yeah, look, look, honey. They they said good things. No, they didn't. I did. Said All right, good so stuff. Are we moving on to Croiler's pro tip? Would you like to get there? Let's do it. Are we on the journey to it, motherfucker? Uh, Croiler's <clears throat> pro. And th- by the way, this is he's already yeah. said he says it. I think in the first paragraph. Yeah. But this is continuing on from the last episode. If you haven't listened to it, it's about the the stripe systems. Yep. So and yeah. we're on white belt halfway through. Yeah, we were. Uh, along with many, many others, confused on why we do or do not get stripes and what they mean to <laughs> our uh, our instructors. Like, does he just, like, eh, here you go, I think you can roll good. 
Or here's a strizzle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's about ready to quit. I'll throw him a stripe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, his shit bounced. He doesn't get a stripe. <laughs> All right. So picking up where we stopped last week, a one white belt, three stripes. A, this is the layman. There you go, Kip. Fucking layman, dude. What an ass. I made he fun like, of him last week, and he did it again. I, I think last week he didn't do it on purpose. This week, sure did. It's probably pretty heavy. Sure. <laughs> it's probably pretty heavy in there. This is a layman that has become infatuated with the art that looks forward to coming in as often as possible. This is the layman, there's again, that may have tapped a few people in the gym. Other white belts, to be clear. This is the layman. This is fun. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> asshole. Holy shit. That can now perform most of the beginner techniques correctly during a drilling exercise session, not necessarily in rolling, as a resisting live opponent may change their performance level, although they may feel they can. Okay. <laughs> let, me, let me pause on. Specially? Especially a word? Specially? It's, I've heard of especially. I've heard or of specially. Sp- or, specific. or special. Yeah, I don't yeah. think well, special. We'll just read it the way he wrote it. It's his pro tip. It is. <laughs> Suck it, Paul. Specially. <laughs> Specials. If they buffer. FYI. Yes. Googling it. <laughs> that's, that's you go ahead. Idea. You go ahead. That's a great idea. Google that shit. Specially. Sadly, it probably is a word because I, Carly used I it, but whatever. I really hope it's not. I really wish you was stupid. It'd be way easier to make fun of him. Yeah. I mean, we do a pretty good job. Yeah. Mind you. Right. But it'd it's be a lot easier, easier if he was dumb as shit. It's easier when he's not here to loop choke you. He didn't get it, fucker. Close enough. P- probably. Still made us cry. <laughs> Especially if they buffer their shortcomings of their technique with athleticism or physical attribute. They, however, don't understand why they are so tired after rolling when the higher belts aren't. They believe it's due to their better physical shape. <laughs> I used to think that. <laughs> it's uh, you pro- are wrong the uh, actual pro tip it's not <laughs> it does not matter this is the white belt that starts to think they are ready for their fourth stripe especially yes especially um the all, more all i can is, find is uh, especially on that, the internets aha uh-huh. just saying you uh-huh. sp- you, how did he spell specially just making sure okay. we're good here s p e c i a L L Y. Oh, you use two L's. Okay, okay, okay. No, just not no, a word. No, there's especially. How did how did uh, autocorrect not fix that for him? He probably just like I'm fucking cruel. Like, like, oh no, wait, no, no, no. Word. Hold on, maybe. Oh. Hold on, hold on. We got a definition. I looked a little farther. Ur- Urban Dictionary. <laughs> wow. Is um, it there? Yeah. No, it's a word. Damn Motherfucker. It. Does it mean what he's th- saying? It means. It says stupid people use it though. Oh, well, perfect. I mean, it's weird. I yeah. know that's weird from the Weber yeah. Dictionary, but stupid people use it. <laughs> mm, whatever. <laughs> Damn it. I'm so sad right now. <laughs> Let's just end the show now. <laughs> right, I could. Well, this is the last show. Uh, they, however, don't understand why they're so tired after rolling when the higher belts aren't. Blah, blah, blah. This is the white belt that starts to think they are ready for their fourth stripe. Especially... I really hate that word. The more successful they become rolling with other white belts. Aha. Uh-huh. That's a, that's so tough, though. It is. Oh, oh, I fell into the same trap. I think we I think all everyone do. does. Yeah. I mean, even even uh, even through my blue belt level, you, I, I care not at all compared to most people about stuff. But it's still hard to go because I don't understand where the stripes come from, right? I don't understand the criteria of the stripes. I get I get the testing for the next belt, right? And you should know these specific So color moves, makes right? sense to you, stripe doesn't. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but y- y- I'm still going, well, homeboy is a four stripe and I'm like a one stripe at the time. Like I'm, I got to gauge myself based on that. But yeah. Other than getting my ass kicked or not, you know, because to, to his point, if I have physical attributes that four stripe doesn't and I'm a one stripe, I might still be able to win. Yes. But I'll have, you know, I got four stripes. If I roll with Dan, he is significantly stronger than me. And dude, he gives me a really hard time. So according to how we roll together, like shit is, why isn't he a four stripe? Yeah. Why is he a four stripe? Yeah. I, you know, yeah. Whatever. So yeah, my criteria, like clearly I couldn't hand out stripes and shit because <laughs> you have I have no idea what the hell. <laughs> well, you want to, on this point, what I found interesting, as you said it there was, 
I, I kind of, you feel this way. I don't remember feeling this way because I kind of, I'm so detrimental of myself no matter what. As you but, should be. Yeah, I suck. Thanks for pointing it out. Now I'm crying on the inside. You're the why I'm medicated. I'm good. Uh, <laughs> uh, is when you do, you, you're rolling with other white belts or white, especially the white belts is like, oh, and there's six months. Especially. Especially, <laughs> especially the white belt. <laughs> Fuck, dude. I know it's a word and I still don't like it. <laughs> God damn, Mick Royler. Fuck. You fucked us up with yeah, one you did. word. Whole show <laughs> some shitville now. Oh, man. Oh, well, you want to hear shitville. We should play the shit shows for somebody sometime. Oh, yes. We Ooh, that. we got 50 coming up. We got 50 coming Maybe up. Maybe we'll drop that bitch with that. Yeah. Because it's a fucking train it's wreck. It's an epic, epic it's shit show epic, of a train wreck. Just assault of swear words and not knowing what to do when the mic's in front of your face. Y'all are going to love it. Oh, it's, it's, it's our show that we threw the fuck away. Yeah. We're like, nope. <laughs> delete. <laughs> That's the show where I thought, dude, this podcast is not going to be. A thing. <laughs> we like, left and Paul's like, Oh fuck. I don't, I don't think we can do this shit. <laughs> Any, so, but I know when you're rolling another white belt, that's six months, let's mm-hmm. say like a two stripe or one stripe. They're pretty similar to yourself as he's already pointed out. Right. As layman, we're all layman, <laughs> layman, layman, layman. Especially layman. Especially layman. <laughs> Especially layman. <laughs> and uh, it, you get that feeling. You're like, well, I just choked this person out like four times. I'm awesome because you you don't know better. You right. don't know that that meant shit. It was ugly as a motherfucker. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> right. Yay! It's like no, dude, that was the ugly. That wasn't even a move. Yeah. I know I did it. I'm like, this is a sweet choke. What do you call that? Sloppy. All right. I, <laughs> That's I, what I the put, fuck you call it? Put my weight on my forearm over his throat, and he tapped. Winner, winner, winner. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Was, Pretty. Was that, not a technical Was that douchebag. jiu-jitsu specially? <laughs> it's specially jiu-jitsu. Specifically, no, but specially, yes. <laughs> <laughs> totally. But, yeah, so you, I know, I, I think that can even come earlier than the, the third stripe, but I see what he's saying for sure yeah. is you, you start to gauge yourself with the people around you. You're like, yeah, I'm ready for the four stripe. Yeah. That four stripe's pretty fucking important. It really is to me. I think that's the one stripe that really, it actually meant a lot to me. Yeah. The first one was, was first more one. to stop me. No, that was just to stop me bitching. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> uh, no, that the first one didn't mean a lot. It was just like, finally, fucker. <laughs> <laughs> I have arrived. I am not <laughs> here two weeks, yet they're going to keep identifying me as I'm so. not the brand new goddamn white belt anymore yeah, well see, exactly that was the only yeah. thing like oh finally i'm not just that guy right but this one meant a lot to me it's it's that spot where you could really sit there for a long time being a four stripe and being pretty comfortable yeah you know i agree with that so yeah go ahead as i just want to point out that that yeah the whole i can choke you out i need another stripe thing yeah that's definitely a thing. yeah hard yeah hard not to do it's not yeah well this is the white belt that is finally becoming aware of the mistakes they make as they are happening instead of after they happen. They also focus on their wins and their toughness. They believe they are at a point in their journey. <laughs> Just pause on that. That they can see the big picture. I hate everyone. <laughs> they can see where they want to go. However, considering the pool of knowledge and experience at this point is very shallow. What they think they see and what is are two different things. Uh, truer words have never been spoken. No, that's pretty damn accurate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's actually kind of what you just said. Yeah, like, you think you're doing great because you're winning and you're dominating. You're imposing your will on another human being. Yeah, that shit ain't jujitsu. Fuck no. <laughs> you're wrestle fucking somebody yeah, is what yeah, you're doing. Yeah. Well, you're humping somebody's leg till they get so uncomfortable <laughs> they fucking tap. Way to go! <laughs> So, I mean, I used to, like, we had Terry, who used to come to this to the class. Miss her. I do. I miss her, too. We should text her and yes. say, hey, what the fuck? We need a party. She's never coming back, though. She's pretty happy with what she's doing, so I'm good with it. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> not no, at all. Not really. I, I loved having her. She was super fun. But um, I used to, like, I would hit stupid shit, like, grab one collar and just push it across the other side from guard. <laughs> yes, it's uncomfortable, so she tapped. The, what, it wasn't a move. Right. It was definitely not jujitsu, and if I tried that on any anybody else that was, you know, a blue belt or higher, they're going to be like, "Fuck you," and I'm sure people did it to me. They're like, "I'm going to choke the shit out of you." It's mm-hmm. like, you're not really doing any move. It just right. fucking hurts. Like honestly, most of the time, those things you could not tap. You could just sit there and take it because mm-hmm. it's, it's not a move. It's not a technique that's cutting off blood flow. It's not cutting off an air passage. 
So guess what? You could sit there, but why the fuck would you? So right. people tap. <laughs> yeah. And then you feel that person feels like, yeah, got you. Yeah, tapping no, tapping to pain no. and chap- tapping to a, it's totally different. a move. <laughs> Corey told shit. that great story, too, that he's like, you know, when he got to a certain age, you know, he's always been a prodigy. He, from the sounds of it, he never says that, but it kind of come. Don't you think that comes across that way? Like, he well, doesn't say that. I will say that right now. He does not say that. But Pro- Prodigy is an interesting word because usually it boils down to somebody that just has a rage to succeed and, and he never does. stops. Yeah, trying. and yeah. I think yeah, and he did. Yeah. That's a good expl- yeah. it's a good explanation. And he did. He just wanted it, and he he didn't have the downs as much as others yeah. would. Yeah, it's funny because I consider myself a bit of a jujitsu nerd, but like he's a jujitsu Stephen Hawking. You know, <laughs> there's quite a, quite a big difference right there. But are you taking a selfie over there? Yes. Oh, well, okay. Interesting. I I really can't wait till I can do something on this side of my fucking table. <laughs> this is my fucking side of the table that you're not going to go, well, what you doing? Yeah. You're like a fucking kid that's like, I feel like I'm left out. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to take a selfie, <laughs> but I got this fucking email I got to read. Well, stop being the star of the show. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't read. We've already established that. Oh, no. I can read poorly. <laughs> Air quotes. Hey, read. fucker, it's reading when words yeah. come out of my mouth. Fair enough. You know, to, uh, to that point, my first instructor, uh, Clint, said uh, he he wasn't really talking about stripes and stuff like that, but he was talking about belts in general and what jujitsu is and what it's not. He goes, you know, I got a guy over here, and he was an enormous son of a bitch, and he's a you know, power lifter, big, huge guy, probably, um, I'd say, about 300 pounds. Fuck! And Clint is... That's a house. Yeah, Clint fought at like 135, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe 145, but I think it was 135. Okay. He goes, if he just gets me a head, I can squeeze my head and I tap. Yeah, you're done. Does that make him better at jiu-jitsu than me? No. Does that make him a black belt now? I didn't even get to finish my story about Curler. Oh, go ahead. Because Curler said he, he would do things that he doesn't like now, like something like tapping the you know people that are around him Mm -hmm. over and over again just to get the tap. Oh, yeah, he'd say they were sloppy, right? Yeah, he'd be like, yeah. they're just sloppy fucking ugly, yeah. but I had to do it. I think more people, like, that was a big thing for him to admit, and he probably didn't want me saying it on the show. Whoops. He, he said it on the show, didn't he? No. <laughs> huh. I don't well, think hey. so. Maybe he did. He if was, he didn't, he was he, 16, for he, Christ's he, sake. He, no, I think he did. I think yeah. during his yeah, interview he I did. Think he did too. Um, funnier the other way, because right. I'm just that dumb. I'm just calling him out. Cause yeah, it's fun. It's what I do. I'm a badass. Listen, thanks for all your pro tips. Why did those stop? <laughs> Fuck, Kip's an idiot. Um, but that just goes to with that. It goes along with it to me. Like, just an ugly tap is not a tap. Yeah, it's it's, it's not a skill that you possessed. So as a uh, upper basic, upper know? layman, upper layman, <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a weird body part. I, I will I will catch you in a legitimate move. But like Croyler was saying or alluding to. It probably a sloppy. Like, yeah. Like my technique isn't 100% on. It's just not. Like I got some that are better than others, but some are, to your point, it's not, I'm not tapping you out to pain and bullshit, but it's not, it's not it's good not, technique. It's, it's not, not beautiful. Not, it's not a beautiful I mean, thing. it's heading towards technique. Yeah. It's not there yet, but it's, yeah. We can call it, it's a jujitsu move that I tapped you out with. <laughs> <But> <laughs> good explanation. So I'm farther on my path and journey because <laughs> at least I'm using moves. Rather than just brute strength and athleticism, as I used to. Yeah, that was yeah. your go-to. I think I probably did that. I don't, but I'm not really strong. I don't know. Wait, you're. you're I hate to compliment you because it hurts me physically. But you're deceptively <laughs> strong. But it's interesting that it's not a compliment in jujitsu. You not at I mean? all. Like when it somebody goes, like "Oh, more... you're really strong." That means uh, you you think I have shit technique. Is yeah. that what you mean? Oh, Yo, so you're, I'm using muscles yeah. to get oh, through. I'm this. Fuck you. you. Oh, I'm gooning you now. Dickhead. That's what you're saying. Fucking you hate then. you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's a slap in the face. It really is. It, it hurts. I'm strong. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you're it. strong. How you like that? How <laughs> does that make you feel, bitch? Yeah. Strong asshole. I'll show you, strong motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hit you with a fucking car. <laughs> I love it. Too far? Uh, no. Good. Absolutely not. You come Perfect. strong, I'm going to hit you with a car. <laughs> Plain and simple. <laughs> done and if done. If you grind your elbows into my knees or crawl me strong, as car. Car. Head. Yeah, it's coming. Car face, go. All right. Two, white belt, four stripes. A, this is a layman <clears throat> that no longer cares that he is tired after every roll. He feels that is how he'll get into the shape that the upper belts 
Oh, that's a really good fucking point. Yeah? You want to pause on that? You don't have to. It's just a really good point because yeah. I've always thought that and never had the words to articulate it. Yep. I that's felt. a really good way of putting it because like, I'm getting in shape, right? No, you're just dying. <laughs> yeah. No, you're doing shit wrong. It's funny because the it, the irony is when you're a white belt, right? And even blue belt to a certain degree, you're going to get into really great shape because of jujitsu. True. Because of rolling and it's hard and it's, you know, and you're using all your muscles. And then as you advance to the ranks, you're you're not really using any muscle. And then, yeah. Yeah, and then you're, you're like, wait. You're going to gain all that weight back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's it ain't water. the same shit. It's water weight. <laughs> it ain't the same shit. It's like, wow, I, you just used to keep me in really good shape. And now it's just, I can tap everybody out, but I'm not trying anymore. So all I'm getting from your story is, uh, Crowler's fat? I didn't say that. <laughs> I, mean, I didn't either, Out but it's, that's kind of, oh my God, <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. That's, I think that's too far. No, he's huge. He's, he's in huge. a muscular way. Total. He's a fucking total. monster. That's all there is to it. Oh, I got to I gotta meet me when he's palming my head like a basketball. <laughs> it's that my head looks like a tennis ball. Yeah. Dude, he's, the pictures that he had, that we posted, like the memes with me, it doesn't really show how big he is because I'm far enough away from him because I'm scared. Yes, as you should be. <laughs> and and the fact that he wouldn't fucking stop trying to touch my head. I'm like, fucking stop it. I know what you're doing. He's just trying to get me to reach at all, and then I'm dead. Yeah. Dick. Do not touch him. Like, I don't know he's doing that. Didn't change anything, because I had no clue what to do without doing that. Whatever. It's kind of hard to hurt somebody or do anything and change it without touching them. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways. So, he, yeah, so he is huge. I, I mean, the pictures, the, when we're standing next to him, are better. Because I'm like... We're coming up to his elbow, and we're like, ah, little we're kids. Tiny little humans. <laughs> I'm part of the lollipop. Now, I was showing uh, Mallory the picture of him palming my head. And she <laughs> goes, you know, you're not you're not a tiny human. You're like, you're an average size Yeah, you're dude. average. You're dude. average. You're yeah. average height, average weight. We are two average Jews. He's like, what sure. the hell is that? <laughs> <laughs> He's so big. He's so big. And it sounds like gets, you're calling him fat. He is not fat I, in the I, slightest. I wonder if he gets like, by huge. her like, you're only that good because you're huge. Like, no. Oh, yeah. No. Uh, roll with him for no, two seconds. Exactly. He'll You'll use know. zero weight and he'll be. God dang it, he's fast. Little fucker. Yeah. I like when he just spins around you like a little top. It's great. No. it. I lose track of him. And it's like, what the fuck? That's what Morgan's for. <laughs> nice. <laughs> or Andrew, the little bastard. <laughs> nice. I looked at him and I go, we rolled together once. He looked at me and was like, you sure? <laughs> Don't remember you. Like, I was quite horrible. Ah, oh, maybe then. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're the guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really oh, sucked. that guy really oh, sucked. Got it. Check. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, clearly don't get as tired as he is. He may feel as far as the white belts go. He is top dog. I used to think that. Really? No. I was going to say, I've never felt that way. And he may very well tap most, if not all, of the other white belts. Hmm. <laughs> I was white belt for a long fucking time, so yeah, I kind of got there. I was sandbagging, though. Well, you had no stripes, and you've been doing it multiple years. Yeah. It's kind of fucked up. Yeah, well, it was fun for a while. And you know that's one of the biggest asshole moves, right? I don't care. I enjoyed it. You embraced that shit, buddy. I did. I like it. Do. Whatever. S- Yay. <laughs> hey, the nice thing is, is I have to test for a purple belt, so I don't ever have to. You literally it. have to. Yeah. So I can stay a blue belt and be like, hey, I've been doing this for 20 years. <laughs> but you have to now. Like, I'm what saying, is this shit? You've been called out. That you should be coming up very no, not no, no. shortly. He just said I was coming up, not anytime soon. I do you believe the word next came up? Next, yeah, but next can be two years from now. You're such a little bitch. Well, hey, he said like two to four years. I got two more. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm gonna I, I do that. believe you're actually at the, the the end of the two part, so you're two to four. Anytime it could happen. No. Yeah, yeah. I got two years just learning how to do throws. Have you seen me try to throw Your anybody? fucking throws suck. Dude. Mine are bad. Suck, Yours suck, are worse. Suck is putting it mildly. Yeah, they're bad. Because my, my throw is um, butt scoot. <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's a thing. All right. <clears throat> uh, and tap most, if not all, of the other white belts out. They may, they may even trouble a few of the baby blue belts. And once in a blue moon, even tap them. They may have seen the entire beginner's curriculum by now. They may even be able to perform all the techniques in said curriculum well during drilling exercise sessions. 
they may even be able to pull most of those in a live roll. Roll, 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 albeit with a buffer such as athleticism or physical attributes. They make less and less mistakes in comparison to the other white belts. They may start recognizing techniques earlier and earlier, especially against the people <laughs> they roll against more regularly. Their basic techniques, grasp of basic concepts, movements, and etiquette are solid, meaning at this point, hopefully, you have built a solid foundation to which you can build your jujitsu on. He said specially again. He said specially. Yes, he did. I don't know what to do with that. Yeah, I like it, though. I do. It's actually really well put. Yep. I don't have any way to make fun of that yet. No, so, yeah, basically, Fuck. Yeah, basically you get your four stripe when you're not doing really dumb shit. Like, you, you're going oh, to you, No, make, I got something to yeah. say about that. How the fuck did I get mine? Just my mouth does stupid shit. Mm. Talk about dumb things. And Luckily that. for you, it doesn't have to do with your mouth and more your uh, your skills. You got mad skills, bro. Somebody does. Yeah, well. Maybe yours was just uh, purely... Do you get pity belts? Maybe that should be like a podcast. Pity belts. <laughs> Are they a thing? Well, obviously a thing for Chad. <laughs> <laughs> you saying Chad got a pity brown belt? No, I'm pretty sure <laughs> I got a pity brown belt. A uh, pretty brown belt? No, pretty uh, nothing belt. Uh, I'm th- pretty sure... I think the last stripe he gave was to my daughter, uh, Sydney. Eddie. No, Sydney, dumbass. Eddie got oh, hurt I wasn't there. a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, sick. you weren't there? Yeah, you were sick like a little bitch. So... Oh, congratulations to her, though. That's yeah, I know. Awesome. Isn't awesome? She, yeah. just, she got hers, and she was really proud of herself, awesome. and I'm very proud of her. Yay! Um, but uh, he did tell her, I'm just going to take the stripe off your dad's and give it to you. <laughs> Perfect. Like, Thanks, dick. I like, I like that plan. She's <laughs> Made like, sense. I'm, I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm better than him. <laughs> By far. So, All right. Sorry, I'm doing some parenting. My bad. Oh, are you getting texted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Don't give your kids phones, people. <laughs> they, they fucking reach out with actual parenting questions when you're not there. What are those things, uh, the be- little beepers we had in the 90s? Oh, pagers, pagers. baby. Pagers. Oh, dude, just give them a pager. It'll be fine. Fuck I'll call you later. They still have them for doctors. Really? Yeah, they're the exact same pagers. No kidding. Yeah, it's fucking hilarious. Fascinating. All right, moving on. These are also the white belts that start to feel that their performance in comparison to other white belts sets them apart. Do you feel that way, No, kid? not at all. You don't think so? No. Hmm. Honestly, um, I'm not. Th- I'm not there anymore. <laughs> you don't even care. <laughs> Fuck. Are you just trying to be like? Uh, no, I'm not physically there. I fucking can't walk correctly. Can't oh run. yeah, you're just a broken, broken. But man. no, I don't really feel that way. I don't think I'm anything different than anyone else. I think I have some. I think yes, I have some techniques that are tighter, and my defense is better than a you know a brand new person. <laughs> yeah. My defense, I like my defense. I think my defense, I, I feel yeah. good about my defense. I like that. I think I think defense is huge that people just don't work out enough. Well, it's boring. It is boring. It's but boring it's, just to sit, and people don't get it either, which is, it, I guess, it, it kind of being a dick move because it was mostly just for me. It's like, nope, you're not getting shit. And it wasn't because I'm too tough. It was just, that's all I'm working on. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of hard to get tapped when all you're doing is trying not to get tapped. Like, I'm not opening up anything for you because... I'm not trying to go for shit, so guess what? My, I'm not going to lose my frames. Why bother? Yeah. Because all I'm trying to do is defend myself. Yeah, you make an interesting role when you're only working on defense. It's like, yeah. what the fuck are you doing? Why are we even here? Yeah. Why are you being a dick? Uh, fight oh. me, bro. Fight me. All you're doing is making it really, really hard for me. Sorry. All right. Move Sorry, on. everyone. No more defense. Only offense from you from now on. That's a new thing. I have no skill. Yeah, but I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Forgot that. <laughs> Been there. Hey, do a triangle. What's that? Is it defensive? Yeah, right. It is. All right. Other white belt sets them apart, makes them shine, and then they uh, and, <laughs> and then they deserve the blue belt. Do you feel that you deserve a blue belt? No. Whatever. It's that, not. It has nothing to do with that. That's a weird statement for me. So no, I don't uh, think so. No. That it's a matter of time. It is kind of. 
No, that I'll give you. It's a matter <clears throat> yeah. of time before I yeah. get one. I don't deserve shit. Yep. It's nice to be on, it's probably nice to be on the cusp, right? So you know you're right there. That's the next move. Like you're not going to get another piece of tape. Like you get the next move is like a giant step. And yeah, that's, it is. That's, yeah. that's a good it's feeling. A, it's like almost a life changer. No, yeah, I like that. that that's a great feeling. It because, is a life changer, you know, almost. Uh, it a is. three to four stripe white belt's one thing, but you know, that feels good. You're like, hey, you're on the cusp. But then the next move, you just having that in your head. It's really weird. Yeah, it is. Because when mm-hmm. I got my fourth, I'm like, hmm. Yeah, there's only one way to go, one way to go from here. And I still feel bad. I was in so much pain that day. So much pain on my foot, and it just looked like I didn't give a fuck. You should cut it off. Then people can't heel hook you. See, it's a win-win. Your foot doesn't win-win. hurt, and no heel hooks. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I'm just getting pissed at myself being old and hurt. <laughs> yeah, well. Testing should be a fucking <clears throat> joy. <laughs> I can't wait. Suck it up. Oh, I'm doing it. All right. That, it's a matter of time. There, <clears throat> oh, sorry. That there is nothing left to learn in the beginner's course. <laughs> Spe- no. Especially once they have especially. seen it all. That they are on equal footing as the recently graduated blue belt. No, mm. no, not well. Me, <laughs> I'm just like no. Well, you, you <laughs> For know. me personally, no, I don't see it that way. I, I, well, I did, but like I said, I was a sandbag motherfucker. So people that got the blue well, belt, well, you were, I was oh, tapping yeah, anyway, you're so. tapping them because you've yeah. been, yeah, yeah, it's different. So. Your situation was different. I have no stupid. opinion. I have no valid opinion on this. They must be careful to not lose their vision because their peers. Other laymen, there you go, Kip. Fuck. And maybe baby blue belts may struggle with them. They feel their knowledge and ability to be superior to them. Who's that? No. That is not the case. Oh, that's a thing, dude. Is it? Like in, in a lot of other schools, it, it, it's it's a thing. Really? It... Yeah. Your ability to perform is hmm. reflecting the growth in your knowledge and your ability to physically perform the techniques you know. And any shortcomings you can buffer with athleticism. However, you must never forget that just because their pool of knowledge got a little deeper, it does not mean it's as deep as they think it may be. I fell into that boat. Did you? I really did. Um, because uh, like we talked about before, I had my go-to moves and I could just land them on people at will because I was rolling with a lot of other white belts okay. and, yeah. baby, and uh, baby blue belts. So they just got their blue belts or they were four-stripe white belts or two-stripe or whatever. Yep. And I could, I could manhandle them with the the little techniques that I devise. I'd have uh, my only game plan, if you will. And we got to talk about game plan one day on this, on the show for sure. But yeah, it's, it's good in the fact that it's effective, but it's bad in the fact that um, I had a very limited uh, repertoire of moves. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was not the best thing to do. No. So, I'm... but, so I thought I was better than I was at jujitsu. Like, Hey, I can do these three things well on other people that have been there for a year. You want to know what's funny though? I went through that early and then not so much now. That's good. Cause I thought it was all good because <laughs> I was, I was, I think I was quick or so. I don't mm-hmm. know. Whatever it was when I started my athletic made me l- in my own head, mm-hmm. think I was better now. Not so much. Yeah. Now I, I kind of feel I'm, I'm nervous about doing my blue belt test more for the fact of, you know, dying. During it, I think yep. Jesse and all my all my brothers there that are going to get me ready, including my sister mm-hmm. and uh, Morgan. Uh, she's a brother. Anyways, uh, <laughs> and uh, they're all going to get me ready, and I'm going to be ready for the the actual test and and that. But the two parts that you know sandwich the are the bread in that in the testing, the cardio, and then on top of that the freaking um, rolling at the end. Yeah, that's 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 the part that's like, oh fuck. <laughs> See, I I would because I got to be able to defend myself yeah. in, intelligently right. while dead. No, I think it, funny enough, I think you're going to do great at the defending yourself at the end when you're rolling because that's been your shit. That's for all the I last do. Nine months, you you're a, you're a defensive dude. And all I, I do is work great. back yeah. to guard. That's my whole life is working back to guard. Uh, actually, I I think I think that's great that you've. Uh, You've got that game, but I also think you should work on other shit now. It just my opinion, as invalid as that may be. You could ask Carler. He might give you a better answer than me, but... Hey, Carler, reach on out. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I never really... The dad's. <laughs> or just text me. Or my phone. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you want to get at me? Yeah, he's not shy about that. Um, oh, man. Yeah, to your point, like, getting... Uh, yeah, uh, it's... It's tough, dude. It's it's. I don't feel like I'm yeah. better. I don't think I'm at the level of the new white but blue belts and... I don't worry about that shit. It tends to me standing in the back. Got in trouble for that twice now. Nice. Well, why are you standing over there? Oh, it's comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I like being last. I, I'm, I, I stand in the very last line on the far right hand side. Right. 
as you should. Yeah, I think so. I suck. <laughs> All right. Uh, may not mean it's as deep as they think it may be. Or, to relate to last week's podcast, just because they now know what the chessboard looks like, what the pieces look like, and their properties, it by no means means... It by no means mean <laughs> I got you guys. It by no means mean they can actually play the game effectively yet. It simply means they are improving. Improving on the layman they were <laughs> Good Lord, how many times can you use that word? All, all the times. There's other words, Groiler. Layman, they were four stripes ago. Hell, even one stripe ago, and hopefully on who they were in their last class. Continuous improvement is the name of the game, not compare and contrast. It's it's good words. It's uh, 100% true, but it's hard to practice it. Make sense? Yes. Yeah. Me. Yeah. I, <laughs> <clears throat> Me. Eh, yeah. Oh, I'm already there, bro. I got it. <laughs> it's been beaten into me. Check and double check. <laughs> <laughs> and we're good. Oh, God. Sorry, I'm distracted by my daughters. Bad day? No. My daughter has a boyfriend. Oh, no. And it just came to me. Oh, no. Oh, I bet I know who it is. You do know who it is. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I, yeah. Hold on. I don't know how this just popped Hold in on. my head, but oh my sorry, sorry, Crawler's Corner. Oh, Jesus. That's really funny. It's not. It's really. It's not. It's funny because it's not me. Yeah, fuck and off. And I have time. Yeah, you got some time. <laughs> I, do, I do not. That time has passed. Oh, God, that's fun. Oh, uh, no, it's not. It is Actually, it is. He's a good kid. Yeah. Oh, I, I mean, if you, uh, uh, it's to be, to, yeah, son. to be fair, if your you know, daughter's going to have a boyfriend. He's pretty good. Yeah. yeah he he's, reached he's out to me. He sent me a message. <gasps> and really? he said, sorry, I didn't ask you before I asked Addy. I didn't, you know, something like I didn't mean to. Didn't you just tell him like a month ago, stay away from my daughter? Yes. That's really funny. And yeah, he's yeah. like, no. I'm not scared of you. I, I, I seen you roll. <laughs> yeah, the fun, and I'm better. Yeah, the, <laughs> <laughs> um, the funny part I, I want to say is I'm going to kill you, Chandler. That's it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if I don't, your dad offered to choke you out for me. Sweet. Hey. Just put your gi on. It's not abuse. Everybody, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That makes a good point. Perfect. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Oh, you choked your head. Had her gi on. Right. <laughs> It's okay. Not, not mad at that. <laughs> I couldn't choke my kids if I wanted to. They already choke me. Or just oh, if you want to see a good picture of uh, Grappling Dad getting choked, check out our Instagram page. Yeah, everyone noticed that um, Paul's crying already and she doesn't have to completely locked in. Oh, dude, she's got a good she choke. She has a man. fucking yeah. wicked choke. But anyways, yeah. go ahead. Our, where, are we, where are we at? Yeah, Sorry, I tangent on that. Continuous improvement is the name of the game, not compare and contrast. Yeah, that's that's really really good information. It's, and it's, hard, it's hard to, to do. Yeah, it's yeah. hard to do. Yep. Yeah, like I said, I uh, I'm the least carry about belts and stripes and shit ever, but I still find myself comparing to other people of a certain you know of my level. Thinking, it's that Where conversation. It's so easy yeah. to go, but they yeah, exactly. no, dude, that yeah. doesn't fucking matter. Right. <laughs> it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Well, what are you gonna do? But uh, to his point about. Uh, Athleticism, you know, when you have attributes and you're winning via attribute, it's not via jujitsu. So you you really have to ask yourself, why am I winning? Is it because my technique is superior, or is it because I am way faster than homeboy that I'm rolling with? Like if you're rolling, yeah, with there's a, a difference. Yeah, obviously. If yeah, if you're 22 and you're athletic and, and all that kind of stuff, and you and you are a three stripe white belt or whatever, and you beat me. I'm an old ass man <laughs> that's not moving very fast. Like it's, it's different. Like how are you, how are you beating the upper belts? Is it by strength and speed or is it by, Hey, I caught him in this r- cool Camaro that he didn't see coming. God, that feels better though. It feels so much better <laughs> when you actually land something that's yeah. a technique. Yeah. I like that. That's weird. I haven't done it much. <laughs> <laughs> hard, hard to do. It's usually, I think we talked about this uh, ad nauseum, maybe not on the podcast, but you're never going to talk about everything ad nauseum. Yeah. You're never going to, I'm going to say never, but it's hard to get the technique you go for. It's like you're going it's for it. It's always the like, third one or yeah. something. There's all kinds of different yeah. phrases, but it's definitely yeah. not the first. Yeah. But as white belts, they tend to do that, right? They're like, well, you can kind of get away yeah. with 
shit when you're yeah. a blue, white belt. You know, you can get away with an ugly, you know, oh, this is kind of a technique, so you can get away with that, but... Yeah. Well, I got uh, my Camara. Like, I can, if I want to just force people's arm to the ground and grab a Camara, I can kind of do that. But, yes. No, but I, I don't feel good about that anymore. No, so it doesn't feel good yeah, at it's all. It's like, that's just stupid. Well, I just, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah mine is, yeah, it's interesting. I don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, wait, I have no go-to yeah. moves. Yeah, if I can just do. I have a lot of defensive mm. moves. Yeah, I use, um, I should start building off my rubber guard and things like that, but I don't. It just works so good. They get stuck. Perfect. <laughs> Moving on. If you look back at last week's episode, at last week's episode, the first few stripes, two stripes, were individuals. Few is two, jack off. Few is three. No. Where, yes. Oh, yeah, it is. Couple is two. Wow. Few is three. Stupid. You're an idiot. Where Fuck individuals <laughs> learning to use their body and trying to harness the value of the art. That happened because they saw a need for it. Now these white belts described today are the white belts that may, if they aren't careful, be on a different journey as they are now looking to compare instead of improve. Now as you all listen, some of you will say, that's not me. Sure, it may not be you today or every day, but some days it is. Don't compare. Why are you judging? Improve. You can't. Don't make Judge assumptions, you dick. <laughs> God. You don't know me. <laughs> oh, My, wait, he does. Yeah, he does. Fuck. My point here is that the goal of jiu-jitsu and the goal of this Croilers pro tip <clears throat> is to wow. continuously study, <laughs> grow, improve, develop better reflexes, and become better than your previous self. Meaning what? It is, import it is more important that you are better after each class than you were at the end of the previous class. I have a hard time doing that. Well, we suck at listening, so... Yeah. It's not even listening. We cup. We cup. We suck at uh, comprehending. <laughs> I don't know where that was. We we suck at comprehending things. You for totally different reasons. <laughs> We've gone over this. Mm -hmm. Like I have to do it, or you can show me. You can tell me eight thousand times. I'll be like, duh, duh. nope. <laughs> if you, I do it twice, a lot more comfortable. You know, it, it, I don't do this, Chad. <laughs> but because <laughs> I'm like the only one that this would benefit. But it's like you got to get me into like get into this like like half guard. All right, lay like this, and put your body in this position. All right, you got it. Now stay there <laughs> and feel what that feels like. Good. Now have somebody kind of crawl in that position on you so you can see what it feels like with somebody on top of you. Okay, cool. Got it. Now, <laughs> so you you, you want the piece by piece dude, is what piece you're looking meal. for. No, yeah. Now what you want to do could be is, really helpful though oh, for for somebody like me it would be for somebody like everybody else in the world they're like. Get the fuck out of here! No, I think, I think there's I think there's more people that could benefit like that. It's but that's a t that's a slow way to learn, and I think that's that's more of the problem. I think almost everybody would benefit from breaking it down piece by piece by piece. Yeah, but yeah, probably. Man, my attention span sucks Dude, for that. You, uh, yeah, but it's also one of those things where my attention span sucks for the other way too. Because he's like, here, do this move, and there's yeah, like a I lost five. It. There's yeah, like it's a, gone. let's say there's a five step process to a um, half guard sweep. Just yeah. you know, that's where we're, we're half guard sweeps. Cool. So, you know, he's there. He's doing this. Here's what you want to do: grab this, turn this, blah blah blah. Okay, cool. That looks easy enough. You made it look simple. So then you go back to with your partner, and, and like, you remember step where five. The, where the fuck was my hand supposed to go? Was I supposed to underhook or overhook? Is I supposed to grab your knee or under your? Uh, yeah, yeah, because you remember step five. Step yeah. one through four is fucking gone. Right. Yeah, so it it'd be you know like I said, I'm I'm a very very slow simpleton. So I would uh, need get get in the half guard, and they're going to be doing this to you. Okay. So now put your hand here. Cool. Got it. Break. Now do that. Sweet. All right. Now. Get circle up, not from here. <laughs> oh my god, that's a little much. <laughs> exactly, it's a lot much. But like I said, for for my slow ass way of learning, I'm like, eh, that that'd probably be beneficial. A real real step by step approach to it, just because the more you get into it, the more nuance you realize it matters. Oh, yeah, somebody can go. Nuances. I can just I can just like slide under him and throw him over. Well, yeah, you're a big strong motherfucker and you don't need technique yeah, yeah. i do <laughs> i need technique because there's no way in hell i'm doing that to you <laughs> i need to do it right otherwise it's not gonna work for me oh damn it yeah well what do you do yeah. all right not that you have new stripes or a new color on your waist remember we all started training jujitsu for a reason whether it was to develop confidence courage to help you protect yourself to escape daily life to have fun to learn an incredible intricate art 
to have friends, etc., etc. We didn't start jujitsu because we wanted to have a stripe or promotion. Hell, we didn't even know those things existed when we started. I might have. Why, <laughs> <laughs> why do we make that the focus of our amazing journey instead of making the focus of our path <laughs> simply to become better than whom we were? Furthermore, you must become the belt or the stripe. Oh, not, God, he loves that. Yes. Not, Fuck, does he love that. Not earn Ooh. it. Not earn it. I am an incredibly tough proctor. Good word, bro. That is a word. I, I like that. I like that one. Way better than specially. I literally don't care about promoting people to new stripes. Not that they don't deserve it, but simply that's literally not even on my mind when I am teaching or coaching. I very often forget to promote my students. My sole focus. Well, also, is, that's why Crowther's class is uh, the highest in the nation for suicides. <laughs> my sole focus is to make each of my students improve, to make them better, to help them achieve their goals. Any instructor worth their weight will agree those things are far more important than simply a new piece of tape on their belt. I don't know. I really like tape. Mine fall off anyway. <laughs> now, I you said you ironed them and they stayed on. I did. I just want to try it and they do stay on. Oh, do they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Need to put that on Addie's? Addie's is falling yeah, the fuck Yeah, right my, my kids fell off. And yeah. uh, I think, uh, yeah, Nicole just got sick of it falling off. She's like, I'll just try to iron it. So she did, you know, just a quick iron. And, yeah. Yeah, no problem. Sense. Sweet. Yeah, I like it. Now, I am not talking about changing belt colors, so don't misconstrue, another good word, what I say, Kip and Paul. I will discuss That's that. That's bullshit. Uh, we uh, don't uh, do that every week. I never misconstrue your shit ever. Fucking. Or read it wrong. We read it honestly yeah. and from the heart. And hate every last minute of it. <laughs> <laughs> I will discuss that mentality and what to expect in each of those transitions in the next one. Oh, look at him go. Ah, cool. I love how he just baits, he has embedded himself as our show. You motherfucker. I mean, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about. But if we just so... read that, it would be like a five minute show and everybody would fall asleep. Yeah, nobody wants that. No. No. Nobody no. wants that at all. Nope. But yeah, I th I agree. I think uh, when you're a three and four stripe white belt, you can uh, misconstrue your athleticism for technique. So be careful of that. See, I don't see myself that way. No. Well, Everybody I, else does. Funny. Fucker. <laughs> Such an asshole. Um, I don't know how people see me. Does that ever bother you? No. Bullshit. I know you. It, you motherfucker. So in it, it, that was a fucking leaded question, lo loaded question. I knew question. the answer to. I, I you lied. Care, I care about how people see me, like as a person. Like I, I don't want to like offend people, and you know. So you mean? don't mean mind, mind being called, uh, you know, monster or your what? What they call it? beast moding people? Yes. You, that doesn't bother you. Oh, that does bother me. Yeah, there you go. I see. I yeah, see. Yeah, oh, okay, see where I, I went with that? So I guess what I was saying is, if they think I'm not good. That wouldn't bother me. But if they think I'm a beast... And just <clears throat> using muscles. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that a lot. <laughs> yeah, see, there you go. So yours is different, yeah. but the same. Uh, so I have no clue what people think of me at the school. Wow, I really don't. Um, I don't think... That, I don't know if they like me, hate me. Oh, they all hate you. Well, I would assume. Yeah, yeah. They like Every, you. Everyone. You have an award yeah. for being awesome <laughs> friends with everyone. You got the friendship award. <laughs> Yay. It's Yay, frenzies. I'm going to make it into a patch. Seriously, what do we, does anyone, what does people say about me? Nothing? That would be my assumption. Oh, it's all or bad. Or bad shit. It's all bad. It's got to be uh, bad. It's, it's like, oh, I don't like rolling with Kid because he's just a bully and he keeps on trying to tell me how to do moves he doesn't know. Just, it goes on and on. Yeah, I don't do any of those <laughs> things because I don't have the skill to do them. <laughs> You ask me to explain something, I'll start and go, yeah, I don't even know what the fuck I'm telling you. You better ask someone no, else. Actually, one thing I like about you, and I think everybody does, is you don't try to teach shit you don't know. Fuck no. So, I show you the shit that I can, no, like, I've done 8,000 times. I think being a white belt, just, you know, being a being a good white belt is not trying to teach people shit. <laughs> well, no, and, and, like, I'll start to, like, because it's easy to fall into it. You're like, oh, I just fucking learned this and blah. And then every time I tell my brain, I'm like, no, shut the fuck up, dude. No one cares. Well, so, it, so if I've started talking, I'll just stop. I'm like, you know, just beat me up. It's fine. Well, a lot of people that are like jujitsu nerds that get into it. Like if you're a three and four stripe white belt, you kind of, you're kind of into jujitsu. You know, you've done oh, it yeah, long yeah. enough where mm -hmm. it's, it's been a while. Like this is. You've this invested is, <clears throat> a lot of right. time into it. I'm not saying like lifestyle kind of purple belt level, but you've, you've invested quite a bit of time and, oh, yeah. and money and, and effort into it by the time you're three and four stripe white belt. So. 
you're starting to understand moves and getting it and you're getting those little epiphany moments and it feels good and you want to show it off. And yeah. I get that because I think I'm 100% sure I had those moments where I'm like, I'm going to show somebody something and I just literally showed you them fucking incorrect. Yeah, you murdered, murdered it. it. Yeah. You're like, fuck. Yeah. So, yeah, I was, I mean, not trying to talk shit on white belts, <laughs> but... Hey. Because I was that white belt. Yeah. So I'm trying to say, hey, I was a douchebag. Don't do what I did. Yeah, and that's usually what I tried. If I do show something, I'm like, I'm sorry. It's just I made that mistake about 8,000 times, yep. and everyone pointed out this is what they showed yep. me. But yeah, but, what I, you know. what, yeah, what I try to do is um, if they ask me about a particular move, because I'm an, um, an upper belt, I guess, in, in class compared to a lot mm-hmm. of them, is if I know it, cool. I got I got some good things and good tricks that I think work well for me. But if I don't, I know of other people that are good at that. Yeah, you know who's good at that? <clears throat> Ask them. Like exactly. Justin with fucking heel hooks. Or, yeah, um, or Rob with his normal Justin with having and wonderful and hair. Yeah. <laughs> or or Jesse <laughs> by looking like a fucking superhero <laughs> shrunken down a little yeah. bit. And uh, <laughs> You gotta know how to get big muscles. You gotta go, go talk to Jesse. He'll hook you up. You wanna have good hair while rolling? <laughs> Ask Jesse. No one fucking knows how. His hair doesn't fucking move. Have you ever noticed that? Uh, uh, yeah. Look at it. How it's do you like, not notice it? It's he, perfect. He's a beautiful man. You can't just stop staring. No, at and all. you're like, hey, look, he, you stop rolling all of a sudden. He's standing up like a superhero and his hair is perfect. It's like, how the fuck did you just do that? No. He's amazing. Everyone has one of those. It's unteachable. The little Adonis at your school. Everybody has them. Yeah, she's a lot of marble. We have two of them. Jordan. Jordan's yeah. pretty. Thanks, Jordan, for making everybody look bad. Yeah, asshole. Physically, in the face. Facial Whatever. area. Yeah. Dicks. It's cool. Hey, do you like his bucket hat? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so Jordan, Jordan posted a picture from his Florida trip of him in a bucket hat and Paul's all over it. See, they're cool again. Uh, I swear to God. No. It's, in, it's a Florida thing, bro. Like, yeah, you go to Florida and bucket hats are perfectly acceptable. Nope. It keeps the sun out nope. your eyes gotta look, your neck. Still got to look pretty enough <clears throat> like Jordan. Nope. It's the only way it works. I think... Uh, I We're think not I, pretty enough for those. I mean, you're not Disagree. Wrong. We're not pretty. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, we are ugly motherfuckers, but... We really are. Yeah. It's not good. It, to, to be fair, I don't look any better with a ball cap on either, so... Yeah, you look awkward as shit with a ball cap. <clears throat> I look like a 12-year-old. You're okay with skull caps, but fucking... I like baseball caps. I think it look all right in those. Yeah. It covers up more of me. <laughs> more of the face to cover up and things. I'm going to put a ball cap on backwards and then shade the sun from my eyes with my hand. That's what I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be that guy. <laughs> Or buy the shittiest sunglasses <laughs> possible and just fucking stand there. Yeah. Yep, covering my ass still. Yeah, they blind. look cool though. Perfect. Ugh. <clears throat> Good times. Did you, you have, th- do you have anything else you wanted to talk about? I, I, I there, there was something we were going to talk about. The sponsors. Um, oh yeah. They're good people. Oh yeah, you gotta, you gotta, you ha <laughs> you have to read some shit. Do I? Yeah. What do I have to you read? Should, you should have a thing. No, I read don't it. have it. Do I it. don't want to read it. You have to. No, because I didn't like it. I wanted it to be part of our oh, read. For Christ's sake, he's gonna, I told he's you gonna that be before the show. You Do you again. fucking pay attention? No, nah, I thought you already rewrote it. No, I didn't like it. How dare you? It's well written, just not for a read. Mm. You know what I mean? Well, 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 well Tom on apparel. Hey, yeah. Al. Sorry, <laughs> love you, buddy. God, um, yeah, we got sounds some, like it. And by the way, we got some of the gear. We um, haven't posted a lot of pictures. Most of the pictures we have been using are old. Yep. Because Paul's been sick. As uh, shit. And still sick, and also been working on his house, his extra house. And um, I'm not busy. I just don't take pictures. So, <laughs> no, that's not your shit. So I just don't. My f- my phone's quite empty, um, I, unless my kids steal it. And then it's just pictures of their faces. So, um, but there's gonna be more pictures. You guys check out their gear. I love. What's your favorite shirt that we got so far? Mine's the Adidas one. I do like the. I ordered that the other day. I'm wearing it now. Oh yeah. All I'm, day. I'm, I'm I dream about subscription. Yeah. It's a good good word, bro. That's good not word. really a word. Anyways. Try all days I uh, days I do things <laughs> and such. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> That's the whole point. All day I dream about submissions. If you have, if you're from our generation, it's all day I dream about sex from corn. Yep. They changed it to something better. Yeah. Ish. And more accurate. It is more accurate. We talk about it a lot. It means we think about it a lot. I I see you're uh, been supporting the the. Guard life? Yes. It's a big red shirt like you're going to be a lifeguard. I love it. Yes, I know it's simple and we're describing it, but it's fucking awesome. I wore the uh, I'd rather throw you than know you shirt, too. That's a good one, too. That's pretty sweet. Um, My Criante one is coming. Nice. Um, Nice. 
So I'm looking forward to that one. Dude, they got good stuff. They really do. They and they, they got a really yeah. good purpose. They, they just want to make high quality merchandise for the jujitsu community. And, and again, and just make it better. They're good people that give a shit. Yeah, it's exactly. hard to find. And like if you can find a company that, that uh makes stuff that you want and you like, that are good people that do it for the community, dude. Dude, and, jump on and, the bad wing. Help them out. Yeah, Show support. Pro- and support. it's an American company that guess what? They do everything here. Fucking do it. Yeah, you gotta love that. And it costs the right amount of money. Not much. Perfect. I mean, it really is. The shirts are, what, 19 bucks or something? Reasonable. Reasonable, and, Reasonable. They, and they're unique. Unique usually costs more money. And like Paul, he says, he loves their fucking symbols. So top mount. Check them out. Follow them on uh, Insta. Instagram. Um, get strong on the Twitter, dude. He doesn't do much on the Twitter. Come on, Al. Twitter. I, I have not We even suck seen, on Twitter. So. I've not even seen our Twitter page yet. My wife's doing a great job. It's not a page, dude. Uh, it's, what's it called? It's just you have a Twitter handle. Jesus. Yeah. Well, I haven't looked at it. Nor have I. I don't. <laughs> no, I do. <laughs> it look, works. I, I do in a way because my wife tells me all about it. There's a book called Platform that I that I read all about, you know, social media platforms, and they talked about Twitter for like 45 minutes. Don't get it. <laughs> just, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck it's really cool. you're saying. The stuff, like the posts are, a lot of them are from me. It's just my wife puts them up there for me. Yeah, I'm a simpleton. Yeah, I just send her pictures and say, hey, if you can use this on Twitter, enjoy. Yeah. So, but yeah, it's it's great. It's it, You need to get on there. I don't know why. It just seems to be popular. World. Yeah. Yeah. yeah worthless. It's but cool. uh, I, I mean, it's great. They're going to be growing with us. We're hitting new milestones on our listeners. Really glad we have everybody out there. Keeps growing. Holy shit. Yeah. Holy shit. Um, Paulie and I are uh, talking about getting into um, having a, a cause. Right? Do yeah. we talk about that? Tell them more. I, I I think it's the bullying cause. Agreed. And we're going to start diving a little more in that. If you, anybody knows of any organizations that need support from us publicly, we'll be nice at that point. <laughs> Ooh. Professional, maybe? Maybe not nice. <laughs> not as stupid. Not as we'll go with asshole. That. Yeah. Perfect. So let us know. We'll try hard. We're looking into it. We want to use our... <clears throat> I don't want to say popularity. Oh, we're popular. We are. Worldwide, baby. We are. We have ones of people on Fucking every weird. continent. <laughs> I love Great Britain. At some point, we're going to have to... Dude, this blew up. We're going to have to fucking go there. Dude, Holy shit. Great Britain is getting huge. Hell yeah. Well, their MMA fucking thing just keeps growing, too. So it makes sense. Yeah. I mean, their jiu-jitsu is getting big over there. It's awesome. Well, not getting big. It's been big. Yeah. But they have a big community over there. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. Yeah, it's awesome. I'm excited. Yeah, so am I. And... We want to do it. We want to help somebody. So, and that was our goal from the beginning. Actually, it was Paulie's goal uh, with his wife, Coley. Yeah. Um, to really have a cause for what we're doing. And yeah, we say a lot of do stupid shit and a lot of dumbass things towards a lot of important things. We'll never do that with bullying. We yeah, don't I'll, kid around about it. Right. It's ultimately, I don't want I don't want people to feel like I did growing up, where you're more worried about what kids are going to say and do to you than about schoolwork and making friends and actually enjoying your childhood. Being a child, yeah, it's it's and being a child goes all the way through high school. So, yep. in my book, and you, Polly missed out on a lot of shit. I don't want anybody else to have to go through that. Yep. And I've already seen how jujitsu helped my kids. Yeah, the confidence level, especially like I can use my kids, but my kids always. Um, they're outgoing, so it's a little different for them. So they their ridicule came differently. Like it was much more verbal and weird. And but they've had it, but not like your kids are more intellectual. And how do you say that? Um, help out here, dude. They're more reserved. That's they, it. They, That's the word I was yeah. looking for. They're just more reserved, so yeah. they're not going to jump out in your face and be real. Yeah, they're intro, they're introverted, and they're they, awesome. Yeah, by they, the way, yeah. love your kids. Yeah, they just. Uh, Parties don't make them excited. They make them tired. Yeah. You know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's really good, <laughs> for instance. And my kids are more, let's party, let's yeah. let's talk, let's yeah. jump around and do things. Both are awesome. Yeah. Love that they're different. Yeah, one's not they right still and get wrong. Along. Just, yeah, and they still get along. That's what's really yeah. cool. Um, but a lot of reason they get along is, is the jujitsu is to bring them together. And we think that can really go across a lot of different people. Just need to get them involved. Yep. I wish... It's hard to articulate just how important jujitsu can be for a child. Like we have a lot of friends with a lot of children, right? Because we're in that. That's what we're that, in. That's that, our community. That, yeah, that's, that's our, our that's community. our world. Yeah. Yep. So, well, you know, and with the with the kids in school, and you you know, the moms meet moms and they do play mm-hmm. dates and stuff. So we're always saying, "Hey, try black you line. Try this. You got to try it. It's really good for the confidence." But 
it's really hard to make them understand. And we've discussed this on the show before where you, it's something you have to feel. You can't just learn it. you got to feel it. And it's hard to go, hey, let me just choke this shit out of you so yeah. you understand why You'll your children need to learn this. <laughs> not so much. Kids won't really yeah. get it that way. Yeah. So I'm not really, you know, I'm not the best at articulating shit, as you've noticed. So It's maybe, a good thing we have maybe, a podcast. Maybe, it, maybe it's me. It might be you. Yeah. Um, you're right, though. So we both feel the same that bullying is bullshit. I think most people agree with that. That's funny because we bully the shit out of each other. On Fuck the show. yeah, we do. It's <laughs> awesome. So <laughs> it's intention, people. It's yeah. intention. It's intention, but yeah. it's not. But you want to know it when you're a kid. Certainly, it doesn't matter what that intention is. It's the way it comes across, oh, the way so, that it makes somebody fucking feel. So that that's that's a fun thing about being a dad too, right? Because there's there's uh, shitheads, right, and then there's bullies. Yes, and, and it's hard a, to dis- you have to right so, in between those two. Yeah, so I'm trying to teach my kids how to discern between somebody just being a shithead and being a bully because yes. the difference is vast. It's not the same. It's thing. not. Yeah. So yeah, it's uh, that's also hard to articulate to like second graders and kindergartners. Like, no, they're trying to show off, or they're just trying to you know they're just being yeah, a boy, or yeah, they're just being or, a f- funny girl, or they they don't they're not trying to be mean. They don't understand how they're coming across. To yeah, you. yeah, they yeah. don't know the social right. the social impact of what they're doing exactly. at all. Exactly. Yeah, so, everybody's trying to pick up show, social cues at that age and they're just and learn know, them. Right. Not even pick them up, just learn yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. it's it's not a tough it's not an easy time to <clears throat> to learn that type of thing cuz you right. you're fucking learning everything right. else. But bullying it's just it's bullying becoming more and more prevalent and and everyone's like, "Well, it's just, you know, what are you going to use to just for beating people up?" No, it's nope. it's the it's the confidence to being part of a community means yeah. a fucking ton too. Yeah. It really uh, we talked about my background in sports and I always had those groups to fall back on like if I ever didn't have somebody to hang out with, guess what? Find my soccer buddies. Right. Find my basketball buddies. Just hang out with them. And it was always there. It's a, it's your tribe as a lot of mm-hmm. people say. Jiu-jitsu there's no, I haven't found a sport like it that it's more of a tribe feeling to it. Absolutely. And that yeah. gives you confidence to not only, it doesn't matter if you can beat anybody up with jujitsu. That's not the point. It's self-defense. But, yes, it can be used the other way, but that's not, that's how it's seen from the outside. Mm-hmm. Kids don't look at it that way. Kids, it's they just feel better about themselves in general. They have friends. They have that family, that tribe to go to. They're going to start dealing with everything outside that circle better because of that circle to retreat to. Yeah. In yeah, my opinion. Agreed. So we want to find more ways to help out. And us being stupid probably yeah. won't help out a ton. <laughs> so But it hurts in the right place. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've been told I have a very black heart. I don't know what they meant. Oh that you're I mean, an asshole. I oh mean, yeah, yeah. it's accurate. But I'm funny. Well Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the if, only one if, laughing. <laughs> yeah, if people understood what you were saying, maybe. But. Is it still funny when you're the only one laughing? That's the question. So if anybody's got anything they want us to bring up and talk about, especially around that. Yeah, write know. an email. We will read one half of it. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no. No, no. We'll read a quarter. That's and then, right. then we'll cliff note the rest of that that's shit. That's right. That's right. So sorry, everyone. Not really. Sorry, not sorry. Maybe. So we have a lot of fun on the show, but we want to do something helpful. Absolutely. You like how I brought that up? You didn't fucking know I was going to do it. No, did I didn't. You? I'm going during the headlights. Agreed, hundred percent. Yeah, I love doing that. Well, good because that's Thanks. how my brain works. Well done, like, sir. Hey, look, thought talking about it. <laughs> like I don't know. What Sorry, he's talking everyone. About, <laughs> I got there. It's fine. You good? Uh, tap tape. Oh, tap tape. Get okay, your tap so, tape. So closing on Top Mount Apparel. Check them out on Instagram. Check out their website. Um, please check out the Creonte t-shirt. I really like that one. Nice. It's got a nice. samurai on it. Good people. Good stuff. Good yes. cause. What does Creonte mean? Uh, a dude that like leaves a gym because they want to train somewhere else. I do. But believe, for the wrong reasons. Correct. I think Creonte yeah. is, uh, what, isn't it showing loyalty, loyalty to a gym and they're breaking yeah. that? Yeah. It's very cool. <laughs> I like it. That's, that's a fascinating conversation because there's, uh. It can be taken a lot of different ways. Yeah, but it's it's. I, I think it'd be a fun conversation, uh, like one of those in person long form. Yeah, with uh, that'd be fun. Yeah, because sometimes uh, not all gyms are the best environment, right? No, so look some at of them the, are just bad. And you're not a Creonte if you leave. No, a bunch of assholes. Yeah. <laughs> you're just yeah. not. You're just smart. <laughs> mm, seems easy. Um, so like 
we've had a friend of ours, not going to mention a name, because who knows if his old gym listens to this, there's a good possibility, <laughs> um, that uh, he's, he had to switch gyms. He wasn't he wasn't advancing um, in his own talents. You know, it had nothing to do with, like, mm-hmm. I think he got promoted to a blue belt and never got the blue belt. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, uh, what the hell? So, and then he switched gyms and just went to a complete culture yeah. shock of, oh my gosh, these people care about yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, I, I know of a guy, and again, I can't say the situation because it's, you know, people might know, but he, he switched to gym because at gym A, they were hurting him. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he was not mean. It was just such a hardcore gym. And he was like, I can't, I can't do that. That's my body not the can't culture he wanted. Right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So he switched for the culture because he needed something that was, you know, more laid back. I like doing the things. I like, you know, kind of getting after it, but you just got to be respectful. And, it, you know, and I got to be able to flow roll with somebody. <laughs> and I didn't <laughs> have that. Be someone there. I don't have it at a gym full of killers. And so, yeah, so it's no hard feelings, right? So I'm not mad at them. It's just yep. the way they are. And I'm not that guy. So I have to leave. Also, then I'm not going to say he's green up to no. Cronte. No. Cronte? Sounds cool. Sounds cool. Yeah. Sounds cool. Uh, I don't even care fuck. if it, I don't even care if it's read that way. <laughs> I really like saying that word that way. It's probably not the word. Okay, now we can move on to uh tape. 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 Yeah. So if you ever, you know, chamfer your thumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's great for chamfering. It's, uh, it's great for holding that bitch back on, I'm telling you what. So Oh, you're such an idiot. Dude, it's good tape. It it's is good, legit ta- dude, good it's tape. Legit Get you good some tape. tape. Um I'm running the fuck out. Thank you, Mike asshole <laughs> fucking asshole at this point <laughs> how many times have i brought up he's quoting the show back to me still doesn't catch this part where i'm like dude i'm out of tape <laughs> he goes hey dude you're sounding like a looking, legit show i really like it i'm not looking for like handouts for other people at this point i really need tape <laughs> i tape on my toe to like the other I've, seven I've been, and a half. I've, I've been the go-to. Hey, you got tape? Got yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you got tape? Uh, of course. No, it's my you. tape, dick. <laughs> no, as I'm ready. Yeah, because yeah, I'm, like, <laughs> I'm now hoarding what I have left. Like, no, it's good tape. Fuck you. Go get the shitty stuff. <laughs> I'm not I'm not getting that shitty tape. I'm not going to do it. I'm going to get wizard fingers. <laughs> <laughs> no one wizard fingers. I do not want barbarian wizard fingers. <laughs> when you get the tap tape, and you will because it's awesome, and you find out that you love it because you will. Yes. Leave a review. Please, God. Because those things help. They, they do. They really do. And it gets the right materials, tap tape, out to the people that need it. Yep. So, for sure, get the tap. What? No, nope. get, no the get the tape. Get the tape. Get the tape. Say it. Come on, get No, me you out. fucking I murdered it. I you, did. I ruined everything. Get the tape. Get the tap. Yes. It's fucking easy. At least if you're one of those white belts and you're not one. So you know, <clears throat> makes it easier. And no, the tap, It's helpful. Even that fission tape's good, dude. I've fucking tried that I shit out like because I ran out of death grip. Yep. Thanks a lot. Yeah, right. But the, like fission the fission works. It works really good. So don't put that shit down either. It's good stuff. Yep. I like the black stuff, though. It looks so dirty. Death the white stuff awesome. looks dirty. That's the only thing I'm on. Great right. tape. Looks dirty. It's because it is dirty. No, I like I mean, the black. It hides my dirtiness. <laughs> <laughs> Matches my soul. Yes. So check it out on Amazon. Nice. Um, you can find it through our website, Stuff We Like. Um, send us more messages, yeah. by the way, people. Yeah, I um, love them. Dude, it made my entire us. day when I got that email. Yes, it, it really it was did. Awesome. He was beaming. The whole, was so was I, though. geeked. It was it's, great. It's not that we don't get plenty of feedback, because we do. A lot of yep. you guys reach out to us. It's just not the same when it's not this beautiful written email that yeah. tells us about you, which was great. And tells us about your gym. Yeah. Um, what you, you know, going through your kids dude I loved it, it and what it really hammers that home is if you know you got your gym happens to have t-shirts and they happen to be mediums um, you know Paul and I <laughs> like to wear those I, I think I see where he's <laughs> going with this how dare you sir <laughs> <laughs> I love your I love your handouts <laughs> what the fuck uh, we're getting popular dude people <laughs> <give them shit. laughs> <laughs> I want a shirt from Sweden. God damn it! Yeah, Emil, you have a yeah. gym, fucker. Yeah, I want a uh, Poland. Come on, can you actually? Your shirt? I, yeah, I mean, I, I'll trade you. Yeah, right. Yeah, we'll trade do a little switcheroo. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, everyone that you sent a shirt, not everyone, but a lot of them, no one's getting them. Get in. Nobody's getting the shirts. So I I'm going to give it to your wife. I'm yeah. going to leave the box here, and your wife can yeah, deal with that, that shit. I think there's something wrong with your um. It's my scale. I think scale, it's yeah. all fucked up. So yeah. Cassidy's still fucking, from what I know, doesn't. Have one. <laughs> so it's like, well, fuck me. So I'll do. You want to know what I'll do that um tomorrow? Tell tell Coley. All right. Cool. Okay, so everyone, what this is coming down to is we have a new shipping department. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that will be much more uh, accurate the competent than the one. current. Yes. Oh. oh, holy shit. 
and uh, she doesn't have time for it, but yeah, she got signed up we, for it because she ain't here. We can't even read emails, right? So I mean, we can't do much anything, right? Eh. This show we do right though. True. I like this show. Also, Black Lion Jiu Jitsu, seven zero one six J Street. Come and get your train on. Get it. Get it. Get it done. Every, you'll get really healthy as white belt, and then it'll saw downhill from there after you start learning technique. And you get soft. <laughs> That's right. But you'll be, hey, hey, for like uh, a year, year and a half. You're good. You're good. Good. After Lose. that, yeah, it's going to come back. So, you yeah. know, get into CrossFit as well. You'll be fine. Get, <laughs> actually, Chad just ran a seminar at That's a right, CrossFit gym. That's pretty <laughs> good. Actually, actually never well came up played. With that. <laughs> Chad's doing a great job getting out, getting Black Lion out there and showing I, other yeah. techniques to a lot of people. Love the fact that he's getting out in the community and showing self defense stuff. And it's it, awesome. I love it because it brings jujitsu to people I would never that thought it was karate. Oh God! Hey, FYI, everyone, That's, call it karate. I'm gonna fucking choke you. Dude, okay, so so <laughs> are we, where are we at? Uh, don't call it karate because fuck you. That's why. Uh, <laughs> don't grind your elbows into my thighs. Once again, fuck you. That's right. Why. And there's a third one. What, what else was I pissed about? Oh, we've been pissed about a few things. Boy, today. we got fussy on this show. We really we're did. We're fuss pots. We're old. We can do that. Yeah. Shit. Now, I, well, and I forgot. So we have, we're old. Do you realize I'm gonna be forty this year? No, I can't wait. Fucking July, <laughs> people. You beat me. Holy shit! I'm forty. Hmm. I'm right. not forty. My wife keeps going. You're not forty yet. It's close. Enough. I'm in the year of my forties. Yeah, close enough. I'm halfway dead. I like it. Uh, <laughs> Croiler. Uh, yeah. Google his name. You'll be fine. Croiler Gracie. Yeah. Jiu Jitsu. Yeah, um, he's doing a seminar pretty quick. At, he uh, is at, at Scion. Scion again, mm-hmm. so, out in uh, PA. Yeah, and get to it, people. Heck yeah! What is the oh man, the guy that's oh shit? I shouldn't even brought it up. I'm gonna let's move on. Like move I didn't on. say that because no, I was trying to go with the head, or the, not. It's the, cool. the guy who owns the gym, and I totally fucking lost it. And I'm like, oh <laughs> fuck! It was on the tip of my tongue. Well, and he looks like a badass small. in his picture. He's got like, oh, it's just yeah, fuck, just, whatever. I'm moving on from my Jeez. dumbassness. Maybe we should have like notes that we go off rather than just trying to come up with stuff on the fly. Well, nah. the end. Of, well, the end of the show is basically made for just babbling. This is true. If you guys haven't figured that shit out, it's our. Uh, it's the know, most important stuff to babble about. I stuff that can actually help you out in your jujitsu journey. Fuck you. No. Why does uh, fuck? I do appreciate. Thank you. It, what was the first name of the guy? It was Ben. Was it Ben that wrote to us? Who was this last Brandon. one? Brandon. Um. I love how now all of our people are writing in, including him, are making fun of not just Paul, but myself. Brad. <laughs> Brad. Brad. There we go, Brad. It was a B. <laughs> it was a B. We had it. Um, we suck at the shit. Fuck it, yeah, we do. <laughs> Why do people listen? I don't understand. And again, <laughs> for some reason, they obviously tell others to listen, but whatever. Uh, we love jujitsu, and we love emails about jujitsu, and mostly because they make fun of Paul and I. It is fun. They fit right in. Yes. Uh, if you if you want to be part of the show, make fun of Paul and I. Hell, it could just be an an angry email. I really want an angry email. They all start them off like, "Hey, ass hats." I'm like, "Yes, yes, love it." Then they're nice. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> he, oh, and review us by the way, but yeah. You know. Oh yeah, get on the uh, uh, iTunes. iTunes. We're on uh, Google Play Music. Um, you name it, give us a review. On it. <laughs> it, you know, if you don't like it, don't. Yeah. <laughs> If you don't like it, don't, tell us. If you don't, do like it, tell yes, your friends. Yes, yeah, <laughs> tell your friends because I don't want a negative. We look great so far. <laughs> but no, thank you for listening. We appreciate all the support. It's been wonderful. It's been amazing. Amazing. Yep. With that, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's it. All right. With that. Yeah, next week. I thought you were going to say something else. Was it? You had Ben's. Brad, I did. Ben. You had Brad's email Jesus. up. Jesus. I was just looking at it again. Uh, I, he, I liked his non-pro tip, uh, the diet. Bone broth. Turmeric, fish oil, vitamin D, low sugar diet. Fuck yourself. And probiotics, uh, kombucha, kimchi, etc. Every time I kombucha drift away from, sounds like sh- it tastes uh, like vinegar. I'm not, I am not eating that shit. Every time I drift away from eating low carb and start eating a lot of junk and get lazy with the above intake, my inflammation magnifies by ten times. I don't care. I'm eating. Oh shit. no, I totally believe him. Yeah. But that <clears throat> shit tastes amazing. Well, it's <laughs> I I did the uh, the um, fuck paleo diet. Like I was strict oh, and yeah, I never felt better. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck, fuck that. Like seriously, fuck that. Yeah. Pizza tastes too good. And everything I love, tastes and too I good. love sugar. So yeah, it's all wonderful. I'm going to be inflamed and die early and just complain about my achy joints. Yeah. So, high five. Yeah. That's my life. Awesome. All right, guys. See ya. Bye.